What's going on everybody? My name is Darren. Welcome to an unboxing, a special unboxing of this pair of shoes right here in this Nike SB box. Um, so before I get into the review of these shoes and I open it up and show you guys, um, I'm gonna give you guys a couple close-ups so that you can see these shoes for yourselves. All right, so by now, you guys know exactly what pair of shoes this is. Um, as you saw in the close-ups just a second ago, these are the Nike SB Dunk Lows, the Chunky Dunkies, the collab with Ben and Jerry's. Um, the raffle was on Nike Sneakers app on Tuesday, and I was lucky enough to win. My wife and I entered, so we put two entries in. Um, I got me a size 13, which is my size, but I don't think I'm gonna wear these. They're just uh, worth too much money, really. Uh, in resale they're crazy so i'm gonna go ahead and open these up show you guys give you a little review of them all right go over all the details on this insane pair of shoes all right just spin it around for the camera a little bit cool so some notes about this shoe all right so they called it the chunky donkey which is a play off of ben and jerry's chunky monkey um i've never had chunky monkey but they definitely um it's definitely one of the more popular brands of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And so they themed this shoe after it. Now, something cool that I thought was on the back of the tongue here. This is going to be the first thing I mentioned. Um, ben and Jerry's slogan here is, if it's not fun, why do it? Which I think that they definitely took into account when they were making these shoes. These shoes are loud. They are unique. They are definitely different. Now, I'm not sure I'd be able to rock these ever. Um just too many crazy colors and patterns for me. I'd pretty much have to wear all black and then just let the shoes do the talking for you. You know, uh, I don't know anything else that I'd be able to, to rock with this, but um, you guys who are more fashion forward thinking than I am, you may be able to come up with some cool outfits for it. Anyway, so let's get into the details of this shoe. So you have your cow print that's running all over. Obviously cows make milk, milk makes ice cream. So that just feeds into the Ben and Jerry's theme. All right, so from what I understand, every shoe or every pair of shoes has different cow prints. So your shoe is gonna be unique from somebody else's shoe. So even in size 13, mine's a size 13. Mine's gonna be unique from another size 13 because the cow print is gonna be different from somebody else's shoe. And I can actually pull out the second shoe here and you can see that the cow print is obviously different. You look up here on the tongues, you can see a good example of it over here on the front. The side panels are gonna be different as well. So I think that's really cool. So aside from the cow print, you have the rolling hills. You have the blue for the sky, the toe box here and the side panels, and then the green for the rolling hills. All right, so your cow pastures, green and blue. Um, the yellow, I think that's gonna be a, a, a callback to the chunky monkey part of this. It's gonna be the, the banana. And then the dripping swoosh um, as your ice cream melts there. Got white rope laces, that's pretty plain. On the back of the shoes here, you've got your clouds for your cow pastures. Nike embroidered on the back of both of them. And then on the tongue itself, you have Nike SB and then Chunky Dunky. Let's see if I can get that close enough for you. Right there, Chunky Dunky on the, tongue, uh, the tag itself on the tongue. So anyway, got a rainbow sock liner and it's got Ben and Jerry's. Sorry, I'll turn this over for you. Nike SB, Ben and Jerry's on the sole there, on the insole. So I don't know if Ben and Jerry's makes Sherbert, that, that would be my only assumption as to why the sock liner is this rainbow color, this rainbow pattern, but definitely gives it a nice pop of color. All right, outsole is green, all green with a hint of neon green right there in the middle. All right, so obviously you guys have probably seen this shoe if you're a sneakerhead, um, all the hype behind these things. The resale is just insane. You know, so these were $100 retail, 
right? So I was lucky enough to win them for $100 retail. My size, size 13 right now, is going for something crazy like $1,600, right? So if you were blessed enough to win these on Sneakers app, congratulations to you because uh, it's just crazy how much these things are worth. I've seen a lot of other sneaker YouTubers saying that, you know, these are going to be worth a ton of money in like a year to two years or something like that. Once there's, you know, less dead stock pairs because people are wearing them, um, stuff like that. So I don't know if I'm going to keep them or not or sell them right away, but I was definitely blessed in the fact that this is such a hyped up shoe. This is probably the most hyped up shoe that I'll ever have uh, my hands on, really, if I'm being honest. But I hope you guys enjoyed the review, the overview, got to look at them close up. Um, if you haven't had a chance to see them, um, or if you didn't win the raffle, I mean, it's going to be hard to get your hands on a pair of these. I hear they're they're pretty limited, but if you're able ever able to see them, they're definitely cool to look at, that's for sure. I don't know if I'd ever be able to wear them, but they're definitely cool to look at. Um, theming wise, this is probably the most well themed shoe that I've ever seen. Um, as far as all the crazy patterns, I mean, it just screams ice cream, screams Ben and Jerry's. So anyway, this has been really cool to, to take a look at and I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right. And we'll talk to you soon.